So what we what we have uh, just published on anatomic oncology is a population uh, study that showed that uh, patients affected by uh, prostate cancer in therapy with uh, uh, androgen deprivation therapy, either first or second generation ADT, uh, are protected by uh, SARS-CoV-2 uh, infection. We were intrigued a few months ago by a publication uh, on cell that showed that uh, um, an enzyme that is called TMPRS2 uh, can uh, promote the entry of the virus uh, into normal human cell. So uh, we have studied for many years uh, TMPRS uh, in prostate cancer, and uh, it's very well known that TMPRS2 level can be regulated by androgen, and that androgen deprivation therapy can decrease almost to zero uh, the level of TMPRS2 in prostate cancer, but also in other uh, tissues, such as, for instance, in the lung, or uh, or uh, in uh, um, in the intestine. The hypothesis is that uh, androgen uh, can uh, uh, regulate uh, TMPRS2, that is uh, an enzyme that uh, promotes the entry of the SARS-CoV-2 virus in uh, uh, in a human uh, um, uh, cell, a healthy cell, thereby facilitating the the infection of, of the virus. But also, androgen could regulate the immune response, uh, in particular androgen can regulate the number and the function of a, a neutrophile. And there have been recent evidence demonstrating that uh, neutrophile can uh, take uh, a role in the, the uh, cytokine syndrome, which is observed in a, in a in patient affected by SARS-CoV-2, and that because of this syndrome die uh, for, the, for the disease. So we think that uh, therapy that uh, decreases the uh, level of androgen in, uh, in an individual uh, could be um, uh, effective in either uh, preventing this subject to uh, develop uh, um, uh, an infection or to develop severe syndrome associated to the, uh, to the infection. Okay, so now we have uh, a new piece of evidence that uh, demonstrates uh, that there is a link uh, between uh, uh, androgen and uh, uh, severity of disease uh, in uh, SARS-CoV-2 infected patient. So uh, I think that uh, uh, this information could be uh, relevant for clinicians that uh, want to, uh, to prospectively, prospectively validate this, uh, this hypothesis by by running uh, clinical trials uh, with uh, uh, therapy that are already uh, clinically available uh, that decrease the level of androgen in, uh, in patient, of course, non-cancer patient and, of course, male patient. So this type of therapy, particularly if given um, uh, uh, for a short time period, uh, could be, uh, in my opinion, beneficial for, uh, for, for, for the infected patient and uh, should not be associated to, uh, to toxicity, particularly if given transiently only for, for, for a month. Of course, uh, uh, we don't think that, uh, I don't think that this will be uh, uh, the only therapy, but this should be, uh, in my opinion, associated to the standard of therapy uh, for uh, patients affected by SARS-CoV-2. These, however, need to be validated in a prospective study, and I hope that uh, uh, soon, uh, we will be able to start a clinical trial uh, in Switzerland uh, with, uh, with, uh, that uh, will validate this uh, hypothesis. And, and, I mean, this will be uh, probably after the publication of this study, I think this will help uh, with, the, with, the, uh, with the ethical uh, discussion uh, in, uh, in many centers, uh, because it clearly shows that there is a a relationship between uh, uh, androgen deprivation therapy and uh, uh, protection by, by SARS-CoV-2 infection. Uh, uh, however, of course, uh, uh, at the moment, for instance, in Switzerland or uh, in Italy, the number of patients that are infected that develop a severe complication by SARS-CoV is decreasing. And uh, this is, of course, a very good news. Uh, I think, however, this study should be uh, uh, put in place, particularly because I'm afraid 
that uh, there will be a second wave of uh, infection uh, in autumn or in November, um, and uh, perhaps uh, uh, we could uh, try to 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 implement this type of uh, uh, therapy um, uh, in uh, uh, in in the future. In my opinion, uh, um, uh, androgen deprivation therapy, either first or second generation, could be used. Uh, to protect by the infection uh, in a, a population of, uh, of subject, which is, for instance, a high risk to develop uh, uh, to develop uh, the, the, the severe complication by SARS-CoV-2. Uh, so, for instance, non-hospitalized uh, patient. So patients that have an infection, that are at home, but they have a high risk, for instance, cardiovascular disorders and so on to develop complication and to go to the hospital later on, or could be also useful for patients that are already in the hospital and uh, that have, uh, um, um, and uh, where we could try essentially to prevent, as simple as an endpoint, the, 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 the occurrence of uh, a severe distress uh, syndrome that will bring the patient to uh, to to intensive care uh, unit or uh, to uh, or to die. Of course, the study needs to be designed by uh, professional people, by infectiologists, that, rather than, of course, from oncologists. But uh, uh, there are many colleagues that uh, that, in my opinion, has already found that this uh, uh, this uh, link between androgen and. Uh, and uh, and uh, COVID of uh, high interest. Uh, we think that the study uh, may have uh, uh, one limitation. Uh, the limitation is that uh, patient uh, that are affected by prostate cancer in uh, androgen deprivation therapy may have actuate uh, um, uh, social distancing when compared to a patient affected by the same disease but not in pro but not in androgen deprivation therapy uh, it's a, it's indeed the known that uh, patients that do a dt can stay at home uh, they don't need to go to to the hospital uh, whereas patient not in adt would be forced to go to the hospital for instance patient that do chemotherapy or they do other type of uh, experimental therapy However, we don't think that this limitation apply to our study because uh, the study was, uh, uh, the observation was run during the lockdown uh, period imposed by the Italian authority, where uh, um, all the population of Veneto was forced to stay home. So um, uh, we believe that uh, uh, patient uh, in ADT, a patient non in ADT, uh, in that period of the time, uh, would, uh, uh, would be at home and not, uh, for instance, uh, uh, in, the, in the hospital.